We're about 30 minutes away from learning the top 25 artists based off your votes for this year's art prize. Their tenure sides, Jay Plyburn and meteorologist Samantha Jack spent the morning downtown asking people who they think should make the top 25. We're down here at Art Prize 2.0, trying to find out who people think should make the top 25. What has been your favorite piece of artwork so far here today? Well, I would say praise. Uh, it's the one that's closest to me and the first one I saw. You think it should make the top 25? Oh, uh, without a doubt. I think it's a shoe in for probably the top two. Uh, probably anything in the Amway so far. We're just getting here. So, so far, that's been our favorite place to be. I like the the one in the Dairy Ford Museum of the African American man that's with the water and tears. That one really is beautiful. The bears. <laughs> the bears? That's me. That's your piece. Yeah. I'm really excited about this praise one as well. Arms lifted up to the heavens, the sun's out. It's a beautiful day to shine. Needless to say, there's great artwork set up all over Grand Rapids right now. We'll find out tonight who's in the top 25. Back to you in the studio. And with the first round of voting and art prize now closed, we're approaching the International Art Competition's second weekend, and there's still plenty to experience. Tonight, the Oasis will have a dance performance put on by the Chinese American Association of Greater Kalamazoo. They'll also be there tomorrow and tomorrow morning. The Art Prize 5K run and walk starts at 8 a.m. Registration can still be done over at Art Prize's website. Also this weekend, the Oasis is hosting Family Art Fun from noon to 2 p.m. It's a chance for young ones to take part in free drop-in art making workshops. Round two of voting starts tonight at 8 o'clock.